Hi, this is Jackie from the Build It All team. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to link your subscriber list that you've created in Mailing Boss to your email marketing form on your Cheetah webpage. Now we're going to make use of this one that we've created, Team Matrix Newsletter. I'm going to go to my Cheetah page. I've already added a panel right here and a box with some information. We're going to add the email marketing form right here now. So on the left hand side, actually the right hand side, we're going to click that little arrow and we are going to scroll down until we get to email marketing form. So you're going to click on that and you're going to see you've got a variety of options to choose from. Do not choose the last three because these are for a viral launch. So you've got the other options right here. So I'm just going to drag and drop this specific one to the panel. And then this form is going to open up and you will see all the different kinds of lists that you have created there. Just look for the one that you've got and I want to do this one. And it says default form because I didn't save a specific form to it. And I am going to click save. And now you're going to see that it's been added. I'm just going to put it up again. And what you need to do is if you right click on this, it's going to open up the mailing boss form right here. And you would be able to either choose the label right here at the top and even change the look and feel slightly. So you can see what happens if I click on this, it gives you that kind of information. So I'm going to say, I'm going to stick to that. So now we've got the email marketing form set. I can change it a little bit. And if you right click, you would be able to manipulate the way and the look and the feel of it by going to the field style, the general colors, you can change the background of the button the hover of it, the color text, if you want to have some borders to it. The headline is this area right here. You can change the wording, the font style, the font itself, the color. You can even add an icon to it. And there's quite a lot that you can choose from. So if I select that, you can see what happens there. So you would be able to do that if I give some space between it. The alignment, you can have a sub headline underneath that as well. So you can have that as a sub line or some subtext to it. And you can do shadow, you can add animation. So there's quite a lot that you can do with, uh, with regards to your form right here. Then the next part that you need to do is you'll see that there is another button that says set link. That is a very important to use because if you don't use that, um, the people you're not going to send the person to the right area so once they have given their email address what is going to happen next and that is what the subscribe pending button is about so if you have got a thank you page there that you need to send them to this is where it's going to happen so if you click on that and the page has already been created you would be able to go and click and it says the thank you page that you've created and you're going to select it could be anywhere but in this case it's going to be a thank you page or a confirm your subscription page once they've confirmed maybe you have got a freebie that you want to give away you would be able to send them to that specific link again it could be a to a page on your site or you can even have a web link which is maybe going to a google drive or wherever you've got the offer that you are giving them the same with a, a subscribe form. So once you've done with all of that, all you need to do is just click on save. And then you're going to click save again to confirm. That's fine. And that is how you would link your subscriber list in your Cheetah site. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in another.